Hi there, Doug Stewart with IT Creations with a powerful tower workstation from Gigabyte, the Gigabyte W771-Z00 workstation. This ranks right up there with the highest performing off-the-shelf workstations available. It supports a single AMD Ryzen Threadripper Pro 5000WX or 3000WX processor with up to 64 cores, PCI 4.0, up to 2 terabytes of memory, 8 SAS SATA storage bays, and up to 4 GPUs. You see what I mean? With support for Windows 10 or 11 or Red Hat Enterprise Linux, this unit can truly be used as a personal workstation. It's a large tower, but if you want the power, it's not coming in a bread box. At least not yet. With an AMD Ryzen Threadripper Pro processor, this system can have anywhere from 8 to 64 cores and 16 to 128 virtual threads, depending on your choice of workloads. The system can also be rack mounted for network accessibility, but who would want to share? The system is designed for creating complex visual effects or rendering, but is also a great platform for engineering and data science applications, oil and gas exploration, AI, AI inference, and your in general high performance computing applications. Seems like I always get to the GPUs last, so let's start on the inside and work our way out this time. It has a locking bezel for security, but once we pop the cover off this system, you can see a solid layout with clear sectors for the storage, fans, motherboard with CPU and memory modules, and those six PCI 4.0 by 16 slots, plus one by eight slot with a by 16 physical slot length. With PCI 4.0, you get twice the bandwidth compared to PCI 3.0. More specifically, with a by 4 PCI 3.0 slot, maximum bandwidth would be about 4 gigabytes per second. With PCI 4.0, a by 4 PCI lane will provide transfer rates of 8 gigabytes per second instead of just a paltry 4 gigabytes per second with PCI 3.0. This system will accept up to four double wide cards, and I mean the good ones from both Nvidia and AMD. Of course, if you do add in four double wide cards, no more PCI options left because they will cover the other open slots. Are you interested in the Gigabyte W771-Z00 workstation tower? Because if you are, for a limited time, you can save up to $500 off the purchase price of a system listed on our site or one that you can configure using our handy dandy configurator that lists at $5,000 or more. That's right, just click that link to get more information on this system. And if you are interested, you can also just give us a call because we are online. We're waiting for you, We're waiting for that call. Give us a call. There are only three GPUs listed on the qualified vendor list, including the NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 gigabytes of VRAM and a 300 watt power draw, plus AMD's W6600 and W5700 GPUs with eight gigabytes VRAM at 130 watts and 205 watts respectively. That RTX A6000 would be the ampere based card, but I'm thinking they just didn't bother to qualify the other GPUs as that can be quite time consuming. The RTX A6000 consumes 300 watts and does support NVIDIA NVLink allowing you to link two GPUs together to act as a single GPU. I am going to assume the limit on four GPUs is at 300 watts per GPU. Pretty sure you can add a number of GPU alternatives from both NVIDIA and AMD should you desire. Really kind of depends on your workload. Let's not forget the new Ada Lovelace architecture for the latest generation, which I'm sure can also find a home on this platform. I'm specifically talking about the NVIDIA RTX 6000 ADA generation GPU, the successor to the RTX A6000. It combines third generation RT cores, fourth generation Tensor cores, and next generation CUDA cores with 48 gigabytes of GDDR6 graphics memory. According to NVIDIA, the RTX 6000 ADA generation offers twice the performance of the RTX A6000, but still only consumes 300 watts and as you would expect, uses a PCIe 4.0 bus. Featuring the AMD WRX80 chipset, the Gigabyte W771-Z00 will take either the first generation AMD Ryzen Threadripper Pro 3000WX series or the second iteration, the Ryzen Threadripper Pro 5000WX series processors with a thermal design power rating of 280 watts. Both provide up to 64 cores of performance, 128 PCI 4.0 lanes, eight memory channel architecture, and high base clock frequencies. The Pro 5000 WX series takes it a step further with Zen 3 microarchitecture. Apparently it's better at single-threaded and multi-threaded applications like 8K video production, machine learning, and AI applications. Of course, you still get the incredible performance for CAD rendering and development for artists, architects, engineers, and others. So no worries there. 
The Infinity Fabric, which is the basis for both processors, has been made even better with Zen 3 and improvements to the interconnects between the chiplets, plus more efficient L3 cache. AMD has improved performance and attained the highest sustained clock rates in the industry. I could certainly go on, but there is a lot more to say about the CPUs. But in the interest of brevity, I think Tony the Tiger said it best. They're not just good, they're great! And that's regardless of which generation you use. Superb performance for a single processor system or even a two processor system. To either side of the CPU socket are four DDR4 DIMM slots for eight slots total. The system supports unbuffered, registered, or load-reduced DIMMs, plus the 3DS varieties. With the CPU supporting eight memory channels, each DIMM resides in its own channel for optimal bandwidth. Depending on your choice of memory modules, the system supports memory speeds from 2100 MHz all the way to 3200 MHz. Memory capacity is capped at 2 terabytes with all slots loaded with 256 GB LR DIMMs. That, by the way, is also the cap for the W. RX80 chipset, which you may have noticed from the specifications for the chipset, also indicates 152 PCI 4.0 lanes. Hmm, perhaps an indication of things to come? The system has four 3.5 inch storage based standard equipment, but they can be upgraded with another drive cage on the lower portion of the chassis. All bays support SATA 3 natively, but it will support SAS drives with the addition of a discrete SAS controller. The system features integrated RAID support with options for 0, 1, 5, or RAID 10. But if you need other RAID options or SAS, you can install a discrete HD RAID controller. In addition, there is space reserved at the top of the chassis for an optical disk drive. You also have a number of boot options for the system, but I would just boot off those M.2 drives because they are crazy fast. The motherboard has two x4 PCI 4.0 slots on the system board for two M.2 NVMe or SATA drives. There's also an M.2 slot specifically for Wi-Fi supporting an NGF 2230 card, and there are two antenna, or in, if this was a bug, antennae, which will add for better Wi-Fi reception when you're draining bandwidth off your neighbor's Wi-Fi connection. <laughs> I'm kidding. Two 80 plus platinum 2000 watt power supply units provide dual redundancy and enable the system to easily transition to enterprise as a virtual graphics workstation. Add an optional rack rail kit, and you can place it in a standard 42U rack. There are a lot of ports on the back of the system, and the front for that matter, but as a top of the line system, would you expect anything less? There's a VGA port for an old school monitor, ID button in case you rack mount this system, two USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports, one type A and one type C, an RJ45 gigabit ethernet LAN port, a management MLAN port, four more USB 3.2 Gen 2 type A ports, plus two 10 gigabit ethernet LAN ports and a three in one audio jack and a power switch with LED. Lastly, all of those PCI slot covers. Optionally, you can install two more fans on the back of the GPU cooling if you max out on those cards. Still, with two 10 gigabit ethernet ports in back, you still have a respectable network connection if you decide to use four GPUs and weren't able to install a faster network controller card. Moving on to the front of the system, more ports. Once we get past the locking honeycomb bezel, there are two USB 3.0 ports, a power button, reset button, plus a bunch of status LEDs for power, hard drives, system status, a unit ID LED, and two LAN activity LEDs. Below those, the 3.5-inch drive bays, which can be outfitted with 2.5-inch drives as well. So there you have it. Gigabyte's W771-Z00 workstation tower, which I think is a reasonable name for this unit too. Not too long, not too short. This definitely gives the other guys something to think about with a range of features supported on this system. It also addresses the same user segments as other off-the-shelf workstation, but uses AMD's super-duper Ryzen Threadripper Pro 3000WX or Ryzen Threadripper Pro 5000WX processors for more cores and processing power in a single socket system. This is really quite a cool unit. If you're looking for one of these or just testing the waters, check out itcreations.com. We have all the cool toys for your computing needs and at a great price, including GPUs, CPUs, storage, memory, and anything else you might need. Until next time, I'm Doug Stewart with IT Creations, and thanks for watching.